loosely my marathon prep had me plan a course test run it get some new gear do my long run and then check the course again here i was telling rajiv where i was hoping to go and what i wanted in my route and i ended up getting a reality check <laughs> but you will see it all in this video <laughs> looking forward to going and doing this 10 11 miles in this sun I just not feeling like doing it period but definitely not as the sun come up and continue to shoot holy shit when is wrong about the yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's looking real good eh? yeah, see two row waterfalls oh come on okay, the only put up little hiking things on it <laughs> Holy shit! That's cool! You know, we could have made a spin around that roundabout just to see where it had on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, boy, I know. I actually, it now crossed my mind. We almost reached. <laughs> no. Okay. Alright, so we reached the Mantanella boardwalk here. Yeah, have Rajiv here with me. He's gonna be following along, keeping me company and supporting me. Um, I'm just gonna test out a little piece of the route, yeah, to see if it is, it will be suitable, and then we're gonna drive the rest so we could do a little recce. I just finished five out of the ten miles I was planning to do today. I might stop, but I have to check out the rest of the route anyway. My drive, so that's it for now. Positivity, I think, before going out and doing your run, really helps because when your body tired and your mind tired, it has no one can support the other. Right, well I just finished the 10 miles hmm. that was a tough one um, today wasn't such a good running day for me but you know I finish it so you're gonna start all the rest of this now and yeah see where that ends up Whew. I'm so glad I'm done okay firstly I'm very glad that there's a car driving behind me I mean even though the road is practically clear um, it would have been people just speeded the road it kind of sloping towards the ocean i feel the other side of the road is actually a little straighter but as the next thing i was getting at i was studying if it is you say it have hills at the end i was wondering if it wouldn't be smarter to start down there so and like finish go from it. home and, take, and finish by the boardwalk it's possible there yeah. well where, where is down yeah. there we will see even though i noticed it have a lot more people coming out oh yeah coming out rather than going in there so it might have a lot more traffic but if we start in early in the morning hopefully we wouldn't get too much and on a sunday hopefully yeah on a sunday too. morning hoping hoping i like the views you know it, it helped in the run because oh my arrow sport just it look how nice that look is that library <laughs> oh whoa this okay yeah this yeah okay well this is the sharpest one so far i could probably walk up this or something not so bad where it's just all these cars are, am i we will be coming from here yep. so i will have to actually turn our corner yeah go go run to the that means i'm gonna have to actually remember that no what i mean i'm gonna have to remember to turn the corner i might go straight back so i always call it in by my hair hey <laughs> Just popped in to see you, 
Maman Medan for we squeeze around in the corner there. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Norlin Paul. Okay. So I will call her back. Yeah. Because yeah. so. all they have on data? No, no, we have no, 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 internet, no internet, no phone. Hashtag me arrow life. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're running around in this hot sun? Yeah. No, today? I, I finish, I just, I do, I do like about 10 miles, so that is about 16, over 16 yeah. kilometers. Well, give my hug now, Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? No, well, we have to go down and see to the end where it is. I've had a start now, uh, and then come back up. But I thought so, you're running already. Yeah, but that was just uh, about 10. Yeah, 10 I was and not, how much more yeah. you have to do? 10 more? 16. Yeah. But I ain't running that today, obviously. See, that's for November, that's the marathon. That is so, um, um, plenty of sun as so. well. This yeah. is a very surprise, but a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Alright, okay. Well, let me say bye to my parents. <laughs> so you're passing back again? Bye, yes. Or that is it? Bye, Nami. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but the road real nice to run on though. Nice. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. hard to be careful. Some little fruits. Some oh, little you see them? No, so they look. Oh, look, look, look. look. chinky and cute. Yeah, so these yeah. are the, the butterflies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye bye, Mayaro. I haven't seen you in a while. It is nice mango. So after leaving my mom and dad, we checked out the rest of the course and I was in for a rude awakening. I mean hills, hills and more hills. I'd basically be doing the first 10 kilometers exclusively on hills. I mean, Lord. I hope I prepared for that. I think I might have to develop some kind of strategy or something for this. Okay, well, we're heading back home or back up the road now. Uh, it was not easy run for me, but I find afterwards, you know, going and check my parents and things, sitting along and chilling with them a little bit. That was nice. You know, kind of make up for all the stress <laughs> from before. Yeah, so I just sit along here trying to decide whether or not I could afford to buy a new pair of running sneakers i know sneakers are important that's that's the consideration whether to sacrifice and purchase the sneakers or sacrifice my feet and do they run with the old sneakers i don't know i don't know i mean i could try to make back more money but i can't <laughs> make back my feet so yeah well i had enough time to ponder and decide that I guess the shoe is important enough to you know get to spend the money on uh, let me go in and see if it is I can get something that will work out for me You're not flat footed. Mm -hmm. um, it's not too high, not thick, but you can see that it's really kind of thin, so you'll be. And you just stand them with your heels together. Did you put together? Me? No, you could do right it right here. Yeah. So, this? No, 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 stand up normal. Oh, okay. Oh, and then you have a space here. It's normal, you're not. <coughs> Oh, bandy leg, like bandy leg, or something. Or leg. Yeah. So, <laughs> you have a B2. So, you're B2. You're neutral. You oh. can buy any shoe. You know, I all, yeah, well, that's a good thing I checked because all the time I thought I was over. Okay. I thought I wouldn't need support. So, that's, no. that's good. All right. Well, the decision was a lot less painful than I thought. Run happy yes that's all i can ask for so <sighs> got new sneakers Woo! gonna try them out this evening and on my long run this weekend
it's almost four now. So just going to finish eat some of my fruits and drink some water and I'll head out. I'm gonna try and get this long run in. <laughs> Ooh, wish me luck. So it's just me. I mean, I still have a couple people, but most of them gone by now. Well, I just finished my longest run. It was supposed to have been between 18 and 19 miles, so I think I did a little over that, but I don't know if this long run was supposed to have increased or decreased my confidence that I could do this marathon. <laughs> yeah. I did get to practice um, the strategy I'm planning to use for the marathon. I am planning on the marathon day to walk up the hills, run down and jog the flats, right? So I tried that today. After about 10 miles or so, I just started walking. And this was more walkathon than <laughs> than a jogging thing. But you know what? The race is not for the swiftest, but for those who persevere. And that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to do come November the 1st. So I guess maybe it did do something good in that mentally I'm like, listen, whether I have to walk it, I am going to do it, right? Yeah, I should have probably invested more in recovery before today. My legs have been killing me for the longest while. Anyway, let me get out of the people place and go home. Yeah, we're just coming back again to do one last pass on the marathon route. Just to, you know, make sure we have some little notes, you know, we know what we're doing on the day. Correct. So, yeah, gonna just get a little recording in and then continue along the way. Alright, well this time we decided to come at the start of the run and head back out. Yeah, well it feels a lot longer than it felt last time but you know I guess that is what the recon is for again. So let's go. This will be the start. Alright, the road with the school. Mm -hmm. Alright, so just finish me all the notes right up to where it has 42.2 kilometers and we'll just go over the notes and try to familiarize with the points that we need to get so yeah mm -hmm. 